On the EDI setting side, this is where we go into managing partners. A partner ID is already associated with the trading partner. The company ID will be set up. When you first enter the system, you'll be prompted to set up your own company ID. This is a unique value that you'll use with your trading partner to identify you within your system as well. So that's something that you'll be able to set up and manage within the system. So that's all addressable here. Address information. So this gets carried over to documents in an out of the system. You can also put this information in within our Cloud Studio product, you know, backfill that information. Uh, this helps regular users being able to manage the data and it covers all the different pieces of, of address information within a document. Uh, terms code, very similar, uh, except now you're getting into more specifics around the trading partner, net days, uh, discount amounts, uh, different code, payment codes and discount codes and discount percentages that might be used to against documents coming from the trading partner. This is also useful for somebody who wants to man maintain this data here, but you can also maintain it within Cloud Studio as well. And that's something that it's an optional uh, thing that you may do. All this information is, is found in the implementation guide from your trading partner. And you can also discuss with your trading partner what information they want within these particular fields. Our reference codes, again, are uh, reference codes that are standard across the industry. You'll be able to, if needed, select different uh, codes and add them to the documents so, so you're compliant and the training partner uh, gets that information depending on which codes they need to verify. Control numbers are automatically created and automatically incremented. Again, if the training partner requires a control number reference from you, this is where you would find it. Envelope data, which many of you doing EDI might be familiar with. This is where you'd fill in the envelope information, the GSID, the GS version, and associated elements that are needed to identify different segments within and, and breaks within the EDI documents itself. Again, also referenceable through the implementation guide, our documentation, and your training partner. This is also where you can set up if you want to send a 997 when the orders come in, the acknowledgement to basically handshake back to the training partner, or if that's not necessary. Necessary. So there's options for that as well. And those are the three main parts of setting up. And this is where you'd set up the settings, the workflows, and get the, that particular piece set up.